What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, I'm here to show you how after patch 1.14, known as the I'm Not a Hipster update, purchasing a spoiler for your vehicle will improve the traction stat. I'm also going to be showing you a bunch of other things that improve stats that you didn't probably know. I'll be going over what traction actually does, how much it is improved, and why it's important to know the changes if you're an avid racer in GTA Online. So, for those of you less familiar with what traction really is and what it affects, traction is the vehicle stat that dictates how much friction there is between the vehicle and the terrain that it's on. With less traction, your vehicle grips less to the terrain and you lose control far easier than if you had a lot more traction where your vehicle would grip to the terrain far better. With that being said, prior to patch 1.14, there was no way to visually increase the traction stat bar or the top speed stat bar as well. But, like I said previously, after the I'm not a hipster update, Rockstar has made it so that if you purchase a spoiler on your vehicle, it will increase the traction stat, meaning that you will have more control and grip on the road with your vehicle, which is especially helpful for racing, possibly giving you the extra edge you need to win in a GTA Online race. So all you have to do for this increased traction boost is go to any LS Customs and put any spoiler on your vehicle. It cannot be the one by default, because that brings up an interesting question. If there's a vehicle with a spoiler on it by default, like the Comet or Infernus or the Elergy, does that make them have increased traction already? And simply put, the answer is no, that if you want increased traction on those vehicles you will have to purchase a new spoiler. And you'll actually see that the stat is now increased and it's reflected in the LS Customs menu. As you can see here I got the cheetah and I put on the spoiler giving it some more traction and I did notice a difference almost right away. When I was doing that I took it to the off-road track nearby and I did it with high-end tires and I tried that out and then I switched to off-road tires and I noticed a difference with how much control I had over the vehicle and the traction as well so it does make a difference. Again there are stats that you can't see that are affected even when you make minor changes to your vehicle. I believe some other people said that if you increase the armor on your vehicle, it also increases the weight, making your car go a bit slower. For that though, and some of the other stuff that you can't see, I'd love to make a more comprehensive video on it, something explaining everything and going through some testing and stuff like that. So if that's something that interests you, a more in-depth series on GTA 5 and some of the vehicles and probably weapons and stuff like that, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. Furthermore, some of you may be asking, is there any other way to increase traction? And really, is there any way, other way to increase the stats that you can't really see? Well, I'm not going to go too in-depth in this video running a bunch of tests and stuff like that but through my own testing and some things people have said and it's generally agreed upon that if you lower this suspension on your vehicle it will actually make it turn better giving you better traction but please note that changing the suspension will not reflect any change on the stats that you could see in LS Customs. This also seems to be the case for the different tire types. If you use sports or high end they seem to have the best traction while if you use off road it will help you go faster and stick onto the off road terrain way better. It's actually a pretty noticeable difference if you use off road tires as opposed to any other tires on the off-road. All in all, I would say that most every modification that you could put on a vehicle in GTA 5 has some type of effect on the vehicle and how it functions, even though the stats do not change. With that being said, I want to know, in your personal experience, what modifications have you added that have made a difference that has not been reflected in the vehicle stats? Be sure to leave a comment below. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to press that like button and also be sure to subscribe for more daily top-notch GTA 5 videos. You can also check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram in the description below. I post daily interesting content on those, so be sure to follow and like. Also, I just want to take a second to thank you guys for all of your awesome support, especially on twitch.tv slash typicalgamer. I've been getting a lot of support on there. I know I haven't been streaming as often as I'd like. I'm trying to fix a few things before I do that, but then I should be on a pretty steady schedule. And also on my uploads here on YouTube, I've been uploading a bit later in the day, which isn't too good because I know people got to sleep and there's different time zones and stuff like that. So I'm going to work on that, but I just wanted to take a second to thank you very much for all of your support and let you know that I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.